Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our channel, your one-stop destination for intriguing journeys into history and the pursuit of happiness. As we embark on this fascinating exploration, we'll delve deep into the annals of time to uncover how different eras have shaped our understanding of joy, contentment, and fulfillment. From the bustling symposiums of ancient Greece to the modern moments of joy in our digital age, we invite you to join us in exploring the timeless quest for happiness. If you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode of our historical happiness hunt. So sit back, relax, and let's set sail on the sea of time, seeking the shores of happiness throughout history. Welcome aboard, folks. What makes you happy? This question, simple yet profound, has intrigued humans since the dawn of civilization. Our journey begins in the vibrant societies of ancient Greece and Rome, where happiness was sought in the camaraderie of gatherings, the wisdom of philosophy, and the magic of the arts. Picture a lively Greek symposium or a grand Roman banquet, the air filled with laughter, conversation, and the clinking of wine cups. Imagine the contentment found in philosophical discussions, the thrill of watching a theatrical performance, or the tranquility of a leisurely stroll through lush gardens. These were the arenas where happiness was pursued and found. The ancients believed in the power of community, the beauty of nature, and the joy of shared experiences. They reveled in the simple yet meaningful pleasures of life. In the laughter of a banquet or the tranquility of a garden walk, the ancients discovered the joy of simple pleasures. Fast forward to the tumultuous Middle Ages, an era of hardship, yet not devoid of joy. Despite the trials and tribulations of the period, there were still moments of merriment that brought light to the lives of the people. One of the most anticipated events of the year was the grand festivals and fairs. These occasions were much more than a simple distraction. They were an escape, a momentary respite from the harsh realities of everyday life. Imagine the anticipation building as the day of the festival drew near. The air would be filled with the tantalizing aroma of food, the sound of music and laughter, and the sight of colorful decorations. There was dancing, there was singing, and most importantly, there was the company of others. The shared experience of joy, the collective escape from the daily grind, created a sense of community and camaraderie. The joy of a shared experience, a moment of escape from the daily grind, was a simple yet profound source of happiness. As we journey into the Renaissance, we uncover a new facet of happiness, the joy of art and beauty. This was a time when the world was rediscovering the wonders of culture and intellect, and people from all walks of life found delight in the arts. The Renaissance was a festival of the senses, where the creation and appreciation of paintings, sculptures and music were not confined to the elite. The joy of witnessing a new masterpiece, the thrill of hearing a beautiful sonnet, and the shared smiles over a captivating melody were treasured moments of happiness. These were communal pleasures, experiences that brought people together sparking joy, inspiration and camaraderie. The arts became a beacon of hope and a source of happiness during the Renaissance, serving as a reminder of the beauty and resilience of the human spirit. Art and beauty, shared and appreciated, became a wellspring of joy during the Renaissance. The Industrial Revolution, a time of great change, yet the pursuit of happiness remained a constant. This era, renowned for its significant transformations, churned out a new breed of simple pleasures. Picture this. Families huddled together eagerly anticipating the crackling voice from the radio, their sole window to the world beyond their immediate surroundings. The radio, a novelty of the times, was a beacon of light in the living rooms of many unveiling worlds and stories previously unknown. It was not just an object, but a shared experience, a communal gathering, the shared laughter over a comedy show, the collective sigh at the end of a suspenseful drama, the harmonious hum along to a popular tune, all these moments became cornerstones of joy amidst the hustle and bustle of the industrial age. Even amidst the rapid changes of the industrial revolution, the simplest moments of shared joy remained a beacon of happiness. In our modern era, happiness continues to blossom from the simplest things. Despite the whirlwind of technology and the hustle bustle of life, our moments of joy are often found in the most ordinary instances. Consider the heartwarming buzz you feel when your phone pings with a message from an old friend, or the serene bliss that washes over you as you witness the sun setting in a fiery blaze of color. 
And let's not forget the comfort and delight of savoring your favorite food. Each bite a reminder of home, of tradition, of love. These moments, though seemingly insignificant in the grand scheme of things, hold immense power. They ground us, reminding us that true happiness doesn't always come from grand accomplishments or material wealth. Instead, it's the small snippets of life, the everyday pleasures that truly make us smile. Throughout history, it's clear that happiness often comes not from monumental achievements or possessions but from the small, everyday things. As we draw to a close on this enlightening journey, let's take a moment to reflect on the universal truth we've discovered. Happiness, in all its forms, is an essential part of the human experience. Across centuries, cultures and continents, the pursuit of joy remains a common thread that binds us all. From the ancient Greeks to the modern digital nomad, Happiness has been sought in myriad ways, but always found in the simplest of moments. Yet, what brings us joy is as diverse as we are. What remains constant, however, is our ceaseless search for those moments of contentment, those final flourishes of felicity. As you go about your day, remember to cherish these moments. Seek them out in the mundane, in the extraordinary, in the familiar, and in the new. Because ultimately, it's these fragments of joy that make up the beautiful mosaic of our lives. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history and happiness. If you enjoyed it as much as we did, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more explorations into life's greatest experiences. Stay happy, keep seeking, and remember, the pursuit of joy is the greatest journey you'll ever embark on.